Hey guys, welcome to California Preaching. Okay, so here's the deal. Everyone's been asking me how I am staying physically fit and taking care of this royal residence that Jesus Christ lives in while I am in quarantine. And I'm about to answer that question right now. I have one of my dearest friends from childhood. She is the sweetest, the best, the most anointed, Jessica! Okay, so I work out with Jessica every single day. Now, Jessica, do we like to do this every single day? No. <laughs> no. But we do it anyway, guys. We do it anyway. I FaceTime Jessica, and God bless her. She's always there on the other end. And the beautiful thing, the really beautiful thing about this, guys, is that... We can do it any time of the day. It doesn't have to be morning. It doesn't have to be evening. It doesn't even have to be night. We do it when the Holy Spirit calls us to do it. So, um, and, and it seems to just work out, right, Jess? Doesn't it just always work out? Like I, I text her and I'm like, okay, are you ready? And this is a blessing and I just love it. Yeah, she loves it. And she loves it because it's short. <laughs> it's really short. <laughs> It's only like 15 minutes long, I think. It might even be 12, okay? So here's how we do it. We're gonna get right into it. We're not gonna waste any time. Thank you, Jesus. And I just really encourage you to find a FaceTime friend that will do this with you. We call it Easy Breezy. And the reason we call it Easy Breezy is because it's exactly that. It is easy and it is breezy. So we always start with the girl push-up. And you might say, oh yeah, the girl push-up. Let me tell you something. These are not easy. All right. They're easy, but they're challenging. Okay. So we don't do numbers. We don't count. We just do it until it freaking kills. We do it until you can't do one more. All right. So here's how we do it. Ready? Easy breezy. Okay. So we go and Jessica's going and I'm going and we're going, you know, at a pretty good pace. So, you know, you guys out there, if you want to do them like a real man, go for it. But us chicks, we like to do it like this. And we just do it until we fatigue the muscle. And the interesting thing is we used to be able to do about, you know, 10. Now, we could do this like 30, 40. We can just keep going. So just for, you know, time purposes, we're not going to do as many as we could actually do because then we'd be showing off because we could literally do a ton of these and not stop because we've been doing this for six months straight. So we've been doing this since even before quarantine, which we really feel like the Lord prepared us for this quarantine. Don't we, Jessica? Uh, absolutely. Okay. So we're going to move on from this, but you know, you get the point. You do a lot of them. Okay. Don't mind the hair. It's absolutely insane. It's crazy. So that is phase one. So then... I just bring Jessica right over here and we, you know, I move the screen so she can see me and I can see her and we talk and then we do this. Okay, now, if you look at my legs, they're just straight. Nothing's bending. Only thing that's bending are my arms and my back and I'm going down and this is working. Whatever muscle it's working, I have no freaking clue. But let me tell you something. You do enough of these. Jessica, do you know what muscle we're working? Tricep. Tricep. Okay. So right now we are working the tricep. And you just do as many as you possibly can. And the beautiful thing about doing it with a friend is you don't have to think about it. While you're doing it, you can be talking to your girlfriend about everything that's on your heart. We even pray in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray. We pray for our family. We plead the blood of Christ over our home. We plead that no plague shall enter our home. We pray for all the frontline people that are uh, dealing with COVID-19 and risking their lives every single day for their brothers and sisters. Oh, it's so beautiful. We're so moved by that. Right, Jessica? Absolutely. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear her, but she, she said, absolutely. Away. Yeah. So, okay. So you get the point. You do as many of these as you can. My arms are starting to feel a little fatigued, so I could go more, but I'm just for the sake of time, I'm going to show you what comes next. So then you get on your side. Okay. And you want your legs in kind of an L position. I'll show you from up top. Oh gosh. I don't think you can see that. Okay. So yeah, kind of an L position. All right. And then, oh wait, what do I do? Okay. And then you just lift, just lift, 
nothing tricky about it. You just lift your legs like that, okay? Now I'm not gonna give you that angle because that's not a pretty angle, but we're just gonna talk to each other for a second. You get the point, what you're doing right now, right? You are doing a side lift. And this side lift feels like nothing in the beginning, but then like 30 seconds into it, you're, you're, you're like doing some Hail Marys. You're like, please God, please make it end because your buttocks starts to really cramp and hurt. So you do as many of those as you possibly can. And um, then you're gonna switch. You're gonna switch to the other side. All right, so we'll do four more. One, okay. two, three, four. Okay, like I said, we could do a lot more of those, but we're cutting it shorter for time's sake so that you can see what we're doing. But trust me, you are going to get stronger and stronger and it's gonna become easier and easier for you to do this. So now you're doing the other leg the exact same way. Nothing's changed. You're doing the exact same leg, just the other way. And you know, my butt turned into a pancake about three years ago. It just like the Great Wall of China uh, no, the Berlin Wall, I should say, just fell. It just fell, right? J just my, my butt just went bye bye. She doesn't think so, but I'm telling you the that truth. Is very bubbly now. It's not very bubbly. It's not bubbly yet, but it's getting there. It's getting better. But you know, praise God. The point of this is not really like the vanity of having like amazing muscles and all of that. It's about getting the circulation going. It's about feeling like you're um, getting uh, a little bit of a cardio workout because you don't really want to stop too much between poses. You just want to keep going. All right, so now we're going to do four more, Jess. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're done with that. Now, what we're going to do is some sit-ups, okay? So what I do is I put either a pillow on my feet or I found this, my husband bought this. It's like weighted, it's a weight. And it's like five pounds, it's really cool. Um, but you could use a chair, you could use anything. And then, yeah, you just do some full on sit-ups. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And you know, we all know it's about the core, isn't it? It's all about the core. So we gotta get the core nice and tight nice and strong we got to make sure that our alignment is good and if your core is strong everything is strong if your core is strong you can do anything you probably won't even have back pain which you know i struggle with i've been honest with that on the youtube channel i struggle with back pain but easy breezy has really helped my back pain and i'm so grateful for that hallelujah thank you jesus Okay, so you do sit-ups, you get the point, and you do them, you know, until you're just really super uncomfortable and you just want it to stop, but then you try and force yourself to do five more. So that's what we're gonna do right now. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, we did it. So now we go back to phase you know, to, it's, it's phase one, but it's actually phase two, if you know what I mean. So we're back to the very top. We're not going to do the same exact thing, but we do go back to the arms. And the reason we go back to the arms and do it again is because every woman wants those gorgeous arms in the summertime when you can put a tank top on and you feel confident. Ready? Go. You feel confident and you just feel like you can put that on. You don't have the chicken flap arms underneath you. It feels good. And you know, Jessica and I, we always talk about how good it feels to like get out of a car and you feel like, woo, like that was strong. I felt good getting out of the car or I picked up those groceries and I had no problem at all picking up those groceries. Or like if you have a kid, like a two or three year old and you pick up that kid, which you shouldn't be, but if you are, <laughs> you know, you're gonna see like, wow, it's so much easier to pick up my child. So definitely definitely gets you stronger and let's face it in quarantine you can go a little stir crazy and when you boy my forehead looks like a solar panel jessica
My forehead looks like a solar panel. Okay. So you keep going. You keep going until you're fatigued. Okay, I think we're good. Four okay. more. One, two, okay. three, four. Okay, so now we do what we call roly polies. Now we call this the home stretch because we're almost done. Nope. It gets us very excited. So if you want to add pink, <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you want to add weights, three pounders, two pounders, one pounders, no weights. I usually do it with no weights. But just because I'm on YouTube today, I'm going to do my pink weights. Okay, and we tighten our legs as tight as you possibly can. I mean, really, Squeeze really. Squeeze your red cheeks. <laughs> yeah, flex, 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 flex those legs and get those arms a moving. And also, dip back a tiny bit. Uh -huh. Dip back so that you get a little bit of a core workout in this too. Now, it may seem like my arms are going really slow, but that's because I'm not used to doing it with the weights. So I'm just gonna put the weights down so you can see what it usually looks like when I don't have the weights. Look how much faster I'm going. Okay, so either way is fine. You still get a workout, but the trick is not letting go of those legs. Tighten them, tighten them, tighten them. Flex, 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 flex. Do not give up, do not stop. And keep rolling your arms. Keep rolling your arms. See, I can barely breathe. So you know this is a good workout. You know you are getting your cardio in for the day and you're strengthening almost every muscle in your body. Notice we've done the core, we've done the legs, we've done the, we've done the um, arms. So we've also done back because when you're doing sit-ups, you're working your back. When you do push-ups, you're working your back. And after this, which is almost over, 10 more seconds, Jessica. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. That was the fastest ten seconds ever. Okay. So now, did you understand that? You really got to keep the legs as strong as you possibly can until you are crying for mercy. Crying for mercy. Then you stand up. Okay. Oh my gosh, we missed one. But anyway, I'll tell you which one we missed. I'll do it right at the end. Okay, so now you stand up. Lifting up, lifting up, tightening. Lifting up, lifting up. Oh, it feels so good. Like already I've got a little sweat going and I'm finding it difficult to speak, but that's all good sign that I'm getting a good workout and that you're getting a good workout. Okay, so we're gonna do five more. One, two, three, four, five. Now there is that, so that's the workout, except I did miss one, Jessica, buttocks. We forgot buttocks because you wanna work the back of the bootay. Okay, so for buttocks, basically all you do is get back on all fours, but then go down to your, to your elbows. Okay, and then you just lift, 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 lift behind you. Lift, 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 lift. And you do it as many times as you can until it burn, 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 baby, burn, burn, burn. And then of course you switch legs and you lift, 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 burn, baby, burn. That's the whole point. You wanna burn it and get it strong. Now remember I told you during these workouts to keep our mind off of the fact that we're working out, we talk to each other and we pray with each other. And it's just such a blessing and such a miracle that we can do this together every single day. And then to top it off, if we have time, we do like a 10 minute stretch. And let me tell you something, those stretches are key, key to staying flexible, to staying, you know, um, I don't know, in alignment and feeling like you're not 100 years old. I don't like the feeling of aches and pains and like feeling like cr I'm crackling and all of that. So I like to be able to know I can touch my toes. I like to be able to know that I can put my legs behind my head. I like to be able to know that I can touch my feet when I'm sitting down. It just, it just gives me the, this feeling of confidence that, yeah, I'm growing older, but you know, they say healthy spine, healthy life. So you got to keep your spine super, super healthy. So Jessica, say goodbye. Bye, everyone.
Just yeah. Oh, wait. Do it. Just do it. <laughs> Just do it. Okay, guys? Do it. That's the workout. Do it. Do it. God bless you. We pray that this blesses you and that you find a way to incorporate it into your everyday quarantine life. God bless you.